okay not like that faggoty ass image that they got with that that naked faggot with no beard and and hitting that that homosexual effeminate ass pose with his leg bent in one way standards that's why man the most high is going to destroy destroy you blasphemous uh edomites man you caucasians man because that's blasphemy king david had a beard man and he wasn't standing like no no faggot man piece of shit man and if i could find that image i'll put it up in post-production about um what they call it the statue of david with some naked edomite with his leg bent in looking faggish okay this is uh now this is another man of the lord this is Ez ezra also known the same guy that that you read about an apocrypha named ezra it's the same man all right he was a great man of the lord he had a beard okay this is ezra chapter 9 verse 1 it says now when these things were done the princes came to me saying the people of israel and the priests and the levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands doing according to their abominations so at the, this is during the time when they was coming out of the babylonian not the babylonian the uh yeah yeah the they was returning from the babylonian uh captivity because the kings of the medes and persians starting with cyprus it was not not cyprus cyrus the great he allowed uh the the captives from uh judah benjamin and levi that was taken during the time of the babylonian captivity under nebuchadnezzar he allowed them to return back to jerusalem and rebuild the temple okay so this is Ezra's he went back but when he went back he found out that the, the Israelites that was still that was went back they didn't separate themselves from the people they was following their ways again okay all right they was they was doing the things of the heathen okay that's why it says doing according to their abominations even of the Canaanites the Hittites the Perizzites the Jebusites the Ammonites the Moabites the Egyptians and the Ammonites which are all heathens for they have taken of their daughters for themselves and, and for their sons so that the Holy Seed all right talking about the children of Israel which is compared to as the holy children because another word for seed is children all right have mingled themselves with the people of those lands to do what to follow their abomination Yea, the hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. All right, so the leaders were they were they were following after these heathens, which were influencing the rest of the Israelites that followed their leaders. Okay, verse three. And when I heard these things, I rent my garment and mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head and my beard, and sat down, astonished. Proving that, you know, righteous men of the Lord had beards, man. Okay. Psalms 33 and 1. Okay, Aaron, the first high priest of Israel, he had a long beard. Okay. Psalms 133 and 1. It says, Behold, how good and, and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. Okay? That's right. So, that that shows how, how uh, beautiful uh, the brotherhood is. Alright? And the brethren are those that... that uh, do the will of the heavenly father those are the brethren of of who you really call jesus christ whose name in the hebrew is yahweh and david who wrote this he compared it to the the beard of aaron man okay so to have a beard is is a uh is considered handsome all right not no baby smooth naked face 
right? Like Esau wants you to have. That put a, a, a feminine spirit on your ass when you shave, man. This is uh, Isaiah 50 and 4. It says, The Lord God, now this is talking about uh, Yahweh Shai, or who you really call Jesus Christ, proving that he had a beard. This is uh, Isaiah 50 and 4. The Lord God hath given me the tongue of learning that I should know how to speak a word in, in season to him that is weary. He, he waketh morning by morning. He waketh my ear to hear as to learn. The Lord God hath opened in my, my ear, and I was not rebellious, neither took away my, my back, or neither turned away my back. It says, I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. That's right. So when, when you read the Gospels, when the Pharisees and the Sadducees and them wicked ass niggas that lied on the Lord, they was spitting on him, they was slapping him, they was pulling his beard, and that shit hurt, man. I had my um, I had some somebody pull my facial hair before, man. It is not a pleasant feeling, man. All right, it is excruciating pain. Okay, and them niggas are back today, and they gonna be destroyed, man. Okay. But that's, that was fulfilling prophecy because Isaiah saw it and he prophesied that they did these things to the Lord, man. Proving that who you really call Jesus Christ, all right, is uh, that prophet that Moses prophesied about and is the son of the Heavenly Father, man. For all you niggas out there that don't want to believe the New Testament and that refuse to acknowledge who the Lord is, man. That he is the son of the Heavenly Father, man. The only begotten son, okay? Simple ass niggas, man. You anti crisis man, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? You're going to be destroyed. So it says, Isaiah 50 and 6, I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks, all right? Because your hair grow on your cheeks when you have a beard, to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. That's right. That's right so you got examples man you got king david okay who's the king of israel then you have yahweh who is the uh the son of the most high who had a beard man okay you had aaron the first high priest over israel who had a long glorious beard man all right and and those servants under david had beards okay all right, so there's no excuses for Jake to not grow a beard, man. You have righteous examples in the scriptures, man. Okay. Go to Job. Job eight and eight. Job eight and eight. It says, "For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age." And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Okay. Alright. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing. Because our days upon the earth are a shadow. Shall they not teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart? And what do they teach us? When you read the accounts of, of the history. They teach us that great men of the Lord. Alright. Had beards man. Okay. They grew their facial hair. You know, cause that that's that shit irks me, man. You see these niggas with naked faces, man. Okay. All right, and they do all these weird designs, and niggas be etching up their face, man. You going off, man? All right. Ecclesiasticus chapter uh twelve verse thirteen says, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter." Fear God, fear Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And one of those commandments is to grow grow your facial hair. Alright. Verse John 3 and 4. Alright. But if you after watching this, alright, 
and you want to continue doing whatever you want to do, you want to mess it up, okay, you sin. First John 3 and 4, whosoever commit of sin transgress also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So shaving, uh, lining up your beard, you're going off, man. You're going completely off, all right? So those are examples of righteous men. All right. They had beards, man, and they were passionate about having a beard. Okay. All right. So now let's go to some images of some Jakes that have beards. Right. That you know, the majority of Jake know about. All right, that they might follow after them because they grow their beards. Man, this shit is acting up. Lock it for my computer moving slow. To make this lesson longer than I wanted it to be. Alright, now this is a um a page of images of the true Israelites. It says according to the Torah, Israelites were forbidden to create images of themselves. However, neither the Egyptians nor the Assyrians has such restrictions. Both of these nations have pictures uh, achieved of the of the true Israelites. Okay. All right. It's got Israel in slavery under the uh, the the Egyptians. All right. If you notice, they got beards. Okay. Them building bricks. See, Jake got facial hair. Okay, yeah, Jake picking grapes. Okay, you got Jake men with beards. All right, some more Jake with beards. Now these are Hamites right here. Those are the Egyptians. Alright. Some more Hamites. And the, these are Israelites. Notice the fringes. Okay. They got the fringes. And they got their beards. Okay. Those are some Ethiopians right there. Those ain't Israelites. Yeah, see, those are heathens right there. They got all markings on them. Okay, here's a close up of the, the uh, Jake with the beard. See, and then they pointed out the fringes and the border blue. Alright, some more images of Jake with beards under the Egyptians. Alright, 
Now, that's an image 